obviously the faster you get the claims closed, the more claims you're going to get. Right, right, exactly. So you're only investing in yourself if you get levels two or three certified in exactly. So it's, you know, how much investment do you want to do in you? For sure, for sure. And, uh, you know, it's like you said, for it's like I was saying earlier, I mean, a, a lot of IA firms are they're like, yeah, I don't care as long as you can use it. It's it is for you, right? All yes. of this stuff, all this training. It's not like you're just like there's a short list of things you got to tick off in order to become an adjuster. You have to be like you have to be good because you're, you're really your first like we'll call it a job interview or like your first real resume thing. It's your first storm, yeah. right? And if it's a big cat like a hurricane, I don't know. Maybe you know the stats on this, but how many yeah. people who have never run claims before? show up at an orientation on a big hurricane, how many of those people do you think end up at the end of that storm still running claims to have claims turned in and getting new claims and then you know, moving on to the next storm? Um, I would think that that all depends on your network, you know, your network of peers. Right. Um, that's one of the greatest things about NACA. You know, I'm going to go off on a NACA tangent, sure, put my president, past president hat back on for a second. You know, I was so gifted. Um, I went to NACA for three years before I even became an independent um, as a contractor because I was investing in myself. Yeah. Um, then whenever I did get deployed, I had a network of people that I could call up and say, hey, how do I handle this? Or what do I do about this? Or my file reviewer is saying this. Is, is, how should I handle this? So really it depends on, you know, you've got to network and you've got to have a group of, you know, three or four people that you have their phone number and I call them the lifeline. Yeah. Here's my lifeline to, to this person and to this person and this person. Um, and, you know, on in the middle of a storm, you at least have somebody that you can call because it gets pretty lonely inside those hotel rooms all by yourself. <laughs> you don't know For sure. And it's three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, exactly. You know, and that's the thing about, you know, the Adjuster TV group, you know, you can go in there and you can post a, a question in the Facebook group. And um, that's what I love about your group and that, you know, there are other people on at three o'clock in the morning like you when you're trying to write an estimate, you don't know what to do. So, you know, and that's a great networking resource. Yeah, yeah. So it, it depends on, it's not just like we were talking about, like ticking off the boxes, you know, you got, you know, a computer now, you got some printer cartridges and, you know, you took a, you know, Xactimate boot camp. You got to practice for sure with this yeah. stuff. You got to know yes. your gear. Um, and then it, it's, you're absolutely right. I mean, as far as like um, really kind of a critical piece of being able to survive a cat deployment, because most people don't. Of more than fifty yeah. percent. Well, I'd say way more than fifty percent. Brand new people, if they just got into the industry and they said, "Oh, there's this big hurricane thing," which is what happens for a lot of people, and that's how they get into this industry. They wash out. They're gone, and they've spent a bunch of money, and they didn't make any money, and they think it's you know they might those people might be some of the ones that show up in some you know social media and say what well, it's a yeah. racket and it's a this and that and the other thing. And but you know if you like you said if you've got a network of people that you can reach out to that you can rely on. You can't go it alone. Even experienced adjusters years into their careers, I'm still like texting people or calling a guy or sending them a little video or a picture or something and saying, yeah. dude, what do I do with this thing? Or what would you do here? Um, it's absolutely critical. So, I mean, there's always going to be something that you don't know. And, you know, you got to have the, you know, self-confidence to be able to say you don't know it yeah. and to call and to be able to have a network of people. So, you know, if this is your first deployment, and you're going to an orientation, um, you know, I would definitely tell you, ask around and see how many other storms or, you know, hurricanes the adjusters have been on and get the names and phone numbers of the people that have been around the longest. You know, you'll, you'll know who they are because everybody will be talking to them from the management. <laughs> right. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Hey, hey, Mr. Insured, how's it going? It's going great today. How are you doing? <laughs> this is actually 
Guy Grand from Veteran Adjusting School. So you want to learn claims from the most experienced veteran adjusters, but you can't find anybody who will let you ride along with them? Then let me tell you about Adjuster TV Plus. Developed by Adjuster TV and its industry partners, including the high-end training center Veterans Adjusting School in Arizona, Adjuster TV Plus is a growing library of in-depth training videos created just for independent adjusters. Learn scoping and estimating from professional trainers and adjusters. Learn how to handle customer interactions with confidence. Learn the ins and outs of scoping and estimating exterior hail claims. And coming soon, detailed videos about how to handle smoke, ice dam, water claims, and auto claims. Adjuster TV Plus also features the very best of three years of Adjuster TV's YouTube videos, ad-free. Educational, entertaining, and inspiring. Come ride along with us on Adjuster TV Plus.